We're in the midst of a very interesting political time in this country. I was very honoured to be elected to lead the Labour Party last year. I've done my best over this year to develop the policy changes we want, to reach out to people in the way that we want, and recognise there are many in the party who may not completely agree with the direction I want to take us. But I also recognise that the mandate was given by hundreds of thousands of ordinary people joining in a political process just as is happening across Europe, just as happening across the United States, because they want to see a politics that is more reflective of them and their lives, their hopes and their community of aspirations, rather than the economic orthodoxy of the retreat of the wealth to the wealthiest that the poor may get poorer. It simply is immoral and wrong, the economic process that is being offered to us by the right within our society. Surely, together we have strength. Surely, together we can harness the technology we've got. Surely, together we can be very strong and not be afraid of press barons who attack us. Not be afraid. mobilising people, mobilising free thinking, mobilising ideas in order to concentrate those into policies that can actually improve the lives of everybody in our society. That is why we contested the leadership of this party a year ago. That is why I'm very proud to be carrying on with that work and carrying on with that work.